into the other lane a little bit you know I've never seen and I've seen the super crazy long ones I've never seen one with a wide load so wide that it takes up more than one lane Watch we gotta get on down to frog town uh, come out of here yourself exit 29 maybe you never even thought about that kind before here. and here we go you know what I didn't get I thought I had a video of course you didn't get it mother I got it though. It's official boys and girls, you can't see nothing, but here we are on the Atlantic Ocean side, St. Augustine Beach, somewhere around Surfside Drive, or Surf Drive, Surf Drive. Can't see nothing, can you hear it? Hush up. Oh, selfie on the beach. Selfie on the beach for the, for the two kiddos. Can you see uh, the town? Big apartment complex. It says lights out for sea turtles. But I need my lights on for seeing purposes. There's a tropical cyclone forming off the coast here. I don't know whether it's going to be declared a just a tropical storm or a hurricane, but this time tomorrow it'll probably be in full development. The seas are looking pretty rough. We're about to go out, we're going to swim 2.5 kilometers. Me and my son, we're going to have a race here and uh, might not make it back to shore. But wish me luck, Let's see if I can kick his ass. Is that right? You ready? You ready for the big 2.5 kilometer uh, race? What race? You and me, bud. Straight out of the depths of the deep. Can you handle it? Buddy, can you handle it? I don't think you can take it. All right. Down to you and me, me Christine. Right, ready? Frank, hold our phones, Frank. Wait. <laughs> Cheater! <laughs> Cheater! I wasn't even ready. Shout there, sharks! How was it? Was it wet? You probably can't tell, but that's a top of a mailbox. Like a little globe, and it just steadily changes color. And that's just about one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Okay, here we are on the daytime walk and the morning walk the night after the phone video with the kid and his girl down at the beach. I don't know if you can tell or not, but all these houses are at a wangle. They're at a wangle they are. Maybe one of them's a little bit cattywampus to the roadway. I don't know if it's because the street's so small and they're just, uh, it's easier to pull up the driveway. I don't know. Small street, weird angled houses. So I woke up at five. Yeah, so I woke up at five after sleeping pretty good. And uh, bed's comfortable, but it's not the home bed, right? So, well, there you go. How you doing? He was rocking, he was. How you doing? 
Oh my goodness, did you even saw him? Little electric bike just killing it. Going out of the beach. A little bit of the old uh a little bit of the old Thursday morning beach tech. But yeah. It's gonna be warm and humid the whole time we're down here, which does suck. So we're gonna try our getting in. We're gonna try to get gonna try to get our getting in early when the getting's good. But I'll get back with you when we get to the beach. Space here with this thing. Be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> to myself or others. I'll tell you what. It. These balconies. Hey, you too. Thank you, sir. We got these balconies, these decks, rather. You know, that are just like balcony decks, like scenic decks. Try to catch them as I go back. But this one over here is ridiculously huge. Can't even sound it because all the palm trees now. And we are at the beach. And what a big beach it is. What a big bitchin' beach it is. I was telling the old lady in California, the beaches were not near as uh, as long. <laughs> you get a boogie board bodyboard but yeah the beaches were not near as, as deep from the land to the uh, to the ocean much shorter distance typically on my California beach experiences these beaches oh you know what it just occurred to me this very second that it was probably low tide last night when we came that's what happened yeah it must be high tide right now because the water's way up here last night when we came out here the water was way way down there so it must have been low tide then. That's probably what's going on. And there's already people all over the beach. I mean, not a lot, but at least 20. Not as quite as secluded as I had hoped. Wrong way, what does that even mean? Oh, I guess you can drive on these beaches? You must be able to drive on these beaches. Do people drive on this beach? Huh? Do people drive on this beach? Uh, I think so. Oh, I didn't know if y'all were from here. I just saw the sign. Yeah, yeah, speed limit. So. Just with a car, or it's like a car or a truck. A car. Crazy. It is crazy. Where are you from? Uh, Georgia. That's yeah, in Savannah they don't let you. I was like, they don't do this in Savannah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Hey, take it easy. Seagulls or something here, little birds. Pretty cool.
Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell or not, but they got a little deck area on top of their the front of their house here, and then up on the third story. Well, I mean, what would be the I guess the top of the second story? They got it built up there. That's pretty crazy. And you can't even tell, but it looks like it's not supported at all on that side. Meanwhile, that's a very cool palm tree and a pretty cool mailbox. I reckon they call this the dolphin house. On account it's got the dolphin insignia up top there. And the old how you doing dolphin totem mailbox. You freaking best. But so yeah, there's one way back there. It's got net around it. Here's one. How you doing? I love the doing well. I love these scenic decks. Oh yeah, they're nice. Yeah, I want to do this in my field back in Georgia. <laughs> exactly. You see, this one is really reinforced. It's got all the cross braces. It's got the bolts in there. I'm digging this one big time. Airbnb rental in St. Augustine. It's a big Mazda CX-30 car rental from Enterprise. That's the old best tan that you know and love that the, the youngest and his girl drove because there wasn't enough room slash they're more comfortable driving on their own. You can't say that I blame them. So here we are at 82 Surf Drive in St. Augustine. The beach I'm assuming is right down that way. Big tour here. Give me the big tour, we will. A little two car driveway, barely, and a tiny little garage that they jokingly say you can park in, but not so much. To reshoot the entire inside sequence, because I just realized there was music playing, copyrighted music. So here's our big yellow door. And then, here, oh, this battery's completely dead. Come on, last to the end. You're not on camera, my love. Front of the house. All tiled out living area, den, whatever it's called. Uh, master bedroom area. Got your bed. Nice size bed. A little small, little small master bath. Except with no bath, just shower. Back in the main room, off to the right. To a second guest bedroom with two twinsies. Unoccupied for this trip. Main slash guest bathroom, another shower, typical bathroom setup. You know how those work. Small kitchen. That should be ample. Nice little double door stainless fridge. A little tiny pool that I'll take you out and show you more of in a moment. The go to go through is through the through the other bedroom, which is a double bed. My son's in there changing right now with his girl, so that's the tour for now. Nice little California road with uh, apparently a little AC unit. And it's just really cooled off this whole area. The TV area out here too. The other little guest bedroom with a double bed, not too bad. That door goes out into a garage, which. They teasingly enough said that you could park in, but I'm not sure. I guess if you move everything out of the way and you got a real small car, then maybe. Oh, it's hot in that garage. Jesus. And then we've got the tiniest pool known to man. Maybe, maybe 20 feet by 10 feet, if that. 15 by 10. But hey, it's cold water. Nice little backyard. Nice little grill area. How you doing?
Okay, well here I am in the middle of the night on Friday night, my old lady's birthday night. But she's way more fucked up than I am. My kid's here, and his girlfriend's here, and it's like midnight 30. And I felt the need to go to the beach. So that's what I did. I went to the beach. As you can see, it's dark as frig because it's nighttime. And it must be low tide because the water is way the fuck away. And we were here during the daytime and it was high tide and the water was way higher up there towards the beach, which you can't even see my fingers pointing. But yeah, the water right now is incredibly far out, which is like way more surreal and eerie, if you will. But nonetheless, being out in the middle of the beach all alone in an unfamiliar city, city, particularly with low tide, when the water is super far away, seems extra sketch for some reason. And like, what are these three lights? Are these offshore drilling rigs, fishing trollers, what? I don't know. But either way, those dudes have bigger balls than I do. Because there's no way I'd be out there. The water itself coming in scares me. It's real close to my feet, and you can't even salt it. I want you to shower before you get in the pool. So, GoPros are supposed to be waterproof, supposedly. I've never actually tested this to see if they are. I guess now's the time, good a time as any. So far so good. Thanks, like. Here we go. Had to go to the hospital. <laughs> It's not even like chlorine, you taste the salt, but...
farm yard, mooing chickens, clucking chickens, and snorting pigs. Oh, mooing cows, clucking chickens, and snorting pigs, or pin the moat. Pretty cool. Can you imagine being stationed on the wall up here? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, you can even see that, that it's, it's because of the sand, you know. Like, that's the way it looks this way. Look at all this. Yeah, that's so crazy. Yeah, just a little bit. Hush your mouth. That is it. Yeah, these are probably exactly what the cannons were. They just, I think the pedals, I think they were on these. Probably, yeah. And then these were, these were guards stood. You know, and man, man the waters. Sheep away! Over chimney or something sizzling salvo. Oh, shit. The furnace fire is blazing hot. A team of soldiers prepares hot shot to fire wooden warships, heating cannonballs until they glow. During a naval attack, one soldier tends the coal fire and loads the cannonballs. After 30 minutes, other soldiers use tongs to remove the red hot shot and carry it to the guns along the seawall. The goal of the hot shot was to set an enemy ship on fire, although soldiers here never fired hot shot in battle. They only drilled for the possibility. The advent of ironclad ships during the Civil War made hot shot furnaces obsolete. Crazy. Oh yeah, it's got little cannonball holes. That is bad, little racks. Oh, that is awesome. Very cool. What's your friend? Huh? The baby crab. Let it crawl around your hand, dude. Eh? Baby crablet. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're gonna be delicious. Damn it. Get them quick. Put them, put, put them in your mouth. Eat them for my movie. All right. There you go. It's gonna be delicious. All right. Pop them in your mouth. All right. Christina, eat a leg. <laughs> One leg for my movie. You want, how about a claw? There's meat in there. That is so cute. I wonder if that ever gets big or if that's just a tiny mighty. A little baby sidewinder. Side a sidewinder. Oh! You freaking best, buddy. He is a little hermit, hermit sidewards. You do it, come on, buddy. Come on. How you doing? Not so bad. Baby, did you see the hot shot? The hot shot furnace. All right, y'all need to do one more circle, birds. We need one more here. All right, ready? I'm gonna go ahead and set up for frame. Y'all go ahead and come around the corner now. All right, let's go. Christina, go hurt them. Go herd the birds, Christina. I can't herd birds. What? You, you just gotta flap your arms and run after them. Yeah. And be like, ah, ah! <laughs> you can tell it's 
Spanish stuff oh, out. I got one, a singular. Because the round architecture. There you go. Straight up. Yep. Okay. Climb that, scale that tower, Christina. <laughs> Do you think you could scale the wall if you had to, Frank? Yep. That's pretty, that's almost straight up. My hook's on the bottom of my feet. No, I mean just freehand. You think there's enough grippy spots that you could find purchase? I bet you could, dude. If you had to, if there were zombies on the ground. Oh, hell, I probably could if there were zombies on the ground. That's pretty freaking cool. I know, right? Pretty freaking cool. I bet at night it looks pretty decent. Next level. Birthday it's your buff day. Your buff day, lady. Buff Got day. to visit the oldest city in the nation. Yes, ma'am. Because we're the oldest people in the. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 48. Oh, I apologize. No, it is. You didn't read the sign in the beginning? No, no. This was a double purpose moat. It was filled with all sorts of uh, livestock. And for the whole uh, siege, while well, it was under siege for a year and a half, they survived all the livestock that were in the moat area the chickens, the cows, and the pigs. Otherwise, they all would have starved. There's a big sign about it on the inside. entrance and the first place you might want to go is up here particularly for photographs so okay. up to this building here is called the Ravelin and this whole purpose was to protect that main entrance to the fort from cannon fire and so it's shaped like a diamond on the other side or an arrowhead okay. and it would deflect cannonballs off to the side nice. and it's kind of deceptive at, uh, it's a lot higher than it looked because of the, the, it's, the angle. It's of the angle here right. and you can see how it would protect the entrance there sure then when you come down, you walk into the front entrance here, and, the, and you turn to the right. And the first two rooms you will see are the Spanish soldiers' quarters there. And the old city jail is off to the side, but you can't go into the city jail anymore. Maybe him for a while. Maybe here, right. And then go uh, back out into the Sally Port. And when you enter the courtyard, you look to the left, and you'll see the water well there. Do the three rooms that are interconnected behind the water well first. They give you a good overall history of the, of the, of the fort. Okay. And then there's these two rooms here have displays in them, and all across the back have displays. Sweet. And then go through this room and back into the what was the uh, um, the powder magazine. And it's all, the entrance to that's only about this high. You got to get down <laughs> on your hands and knees to go into it. And the room's only about this tall. Awesome. Okay. And that was also where where they say the old secret dungeon was. was oh. Back in there also. Okay. The the ladies' room and men's room are right underneath the stairway. There's also a water bottle filling station so that you can fill your water bottle back up. And then go up on the gun deck, uh, and uh, we got both bronze and uh, cast iron cannons up there. There's, uh, there's a ranger station up there where they have a, a, um, a flyer like this that tells you about the different cannons and uh, where they came from. Awesome. All right? Okay. And if, the, if you have any questions, the rangers and the volunteers are here to help out. All right. Thank you for right. your help, sir. And, appreciate okay, it. Okay. Enjoy it. Now, if you don't enjoy your sport, okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Ooh, it is all diamondy.
Oh yeah, dude, they're so protected. Can you imagine? Yeah. Like you must have felt so safe. Cause they'd be in the bay, right? Shooting cannonballs and then they just can't get in because that's way lower and the angle and the angle. Yeah, that's a pretty badass uh, door too. So supposedly, I read, I read on the little sheet over there, this, uh, this sh outer shell coating is supposed to waterproof this whole fort. That's why it's in it. Huh. Alright, I'm going in. Super comfy.
the bathroom? No, no, right here. Yeah. A tidal toilet. A tidal toilet. one you hold on your shoulder like a bazooka. One person on this side, one person on that side. No, no. Both of them. You just turn around your left hand or your right hand and you have it on your shoulder and you like just oh. That's the old that's a uh, that's a that's the pre-modern day bazooka. Oh here it is boys and girls. There's your hands and knees crawl space. Are you going are you not gonna go in? No. I don't blame you. No, I don't <laughs> Well we don't get up from that anyway. Built in 1675, it is one of the oldest rooms in the port. Originally built to store gunpowder, but soon proved too damp. During the 1702 siege. Oh my goodness. We are in the powder room, boys and girls. I would feel pretty safe from a tornado in this. King's Coffer. The treasury room. Frank, you got your metal cake? <laughs> this was the King's Coffer. That's, that's, the, tre that's the treasury room. There's got to be at least one gold boy on here, one standard it's boy on Yeah, the balloon. Everybody has to understand it because the blooms. Mm. All the blooms. Oh, that's supposed to be the mess hall. Jeez! For everyone! Same thing 200 years ago that we were doing now. Put, put a Frank and C in a heart. Put an FC heart. 1888. Make it, make it a 1740. Predate everything. They'll think it's an archaeological find. God, this would have slept four soldiers. Really? Close quarters. The replica British era bunk would have slept four soldiers, two on top and two on bottom. These four men were considered messmates. The basic unit in the British Army, everything they had fit here. At the foot of the bed, you will see a place for four guns and four coats. There's a space below for other gear. Crazy. Close mates indeed. 
The old messmates tech. That's all four of us. We're going to sleep. Two up top, two up bottom. It literally says don't climb on the wall. Welcome to the Petting Zoo, mother. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can fit in that, dude. That one takes a big hand. Oh yeah, it explodes. Definitely fit in there. Deadly crossfire. Oh yeah, I bet. Watch where you're shooting, fools. Engulfed in flames, Spanish soldiers watch in horror as English troops set fire to their homes. They are helpless. The drawbridges are up. The soldiers, settlers, and their families are sheltered within the crowded fortress. Except for a few rooms to house the guards on duty, the fort has no living quarters. During the nearly two-month-long siege in 1702, the English failed to conquer the Castillo, but left St. Augustine in ashes. After the siege, the determined Spanish rebuilt their homes and added more defenses to protect their town. Oh, oh, this is the, the house. Yeah. Oh, the Vera Cruz. 1847. <laughs> Did you see him jump? <laughs> <laughs> oh. They want too much. Oh. They want too much. Freaking $40. Better taste nice than drink it up too. Thank you. It's a little parchment stationery kit. It's an actual parchment paper and a feather and ink and an ink wheel. So you can try to uh, try writing with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a feather pen. Like the founding father is very cool.
Yeah, that is legitimate. But Jenny Stocks. Those are so cool. That is so awesome. Get you an original duster. It's a bird whistle. It is a bird whistle. Got grog. Grog out. I was thirsty. <laughs> this is pretty neat. No, I'm honest like that. Oh, the smell. Oh, it smells so good. That's right. We charge for smells. Are you wearing this stuff? Are you hot? That's what all the ladies say, sir. So. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you very much. Oh, for sending your letters, sure. Yeah. That is cool. That is so cool. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Nice to be controlled by your women. Just like... I'm in control your ass more than home. No, you do all the time. Thank you. No, no, yes, yes. <laughs> Best birthday ever. Yeah, it's a good birthday. Yeah. Not you. Look at see. Look at all the cars from beach. Dude. I saw them yesterday. Although it's kind of silly because there's no sunset here, so it's kind of pointless. I don't know if we can go down. I
Almost lost a sandal. <laughs> <laughs> 